Now Thank we're goodness. going on to the women's war games match, which I would say was the match of the night. And I had a feeling that it was going to open the show. I saw some people who were saying that it should have main evented. I don't think that made any sense, but no. Uh, I mean, I understand the storyline, I guess, was deeper than the men's war games match, but you just knew like this was not a this wasn't a, a show that they were gonna let the women main event. But no. uh they did way better, in my opinion, than the men in their match. And like so, I'm just like so impressed with just all of them. Uh like especially with you know, Charlotte, it, this was her first one. Um Shotzi getting her moment time and time again, which was nice. EO Shot. jumping off the top in a trash can. Like round two. Girl, like it was just so good. And the way and they this, did it would take that she took the yes, you do like a levy. Like yeah. the little details in the match like that were so much different than the men's. And yeah, that's what made it better because they made things that wouldn't usually make sense because oh, it's wrestling, it doesn't have to. They made it make sense for the match where you yeah. do not have to use your imagination as much. And I felt like it just flowed better. Like there wasn't a, really any dead time in the women's match, but there was in the men's. And I get sometimes that's unavoidable, but it just felt like there wasn't ever a moment where you were like, oh, like, okay, what are we, what's going on? Like, what what's are we doing? Mm -hmm. And I felt that was cool. Um, our prediction came right that Bailey was the one who took the pin. Unfortunately, it wasn't from Shotzi, but it was from I know like I would have liked to I, I would have liked to see Shotzi get the pin, but it makes sense that Becky mm -hmm. manhandled slammed her through the table, pinned yeah. her. And what, what I what are your thoughts on this though? Okay. Did you notice that I mean obviously yeah, the, the digital exclusive interview afterwards, but it felt like damage control the other three could have saved her and Kyrie saying there was one moment in the match where it was toward, it was the final sequence where Bailey like moves takes the spear for her mm -hmm. and Kyrie's down but not down like yeah she's like dazed we'll say and then she's watching Bailey get annihilated by all four women basically the finishes all that she in wrestling logic. She had enough time to get up and make a save. But for story purposes and the way damage control is going, mm -hmm. I have a feeling that on SmackDown, we're going to see some video footage or something that highlights how Kyrie Sane could have saved Bailey and did it. I w it, it seems like something Bailey would do to defend herself because I'm sure like it's going to be a conversation maybe you know backstage or in the ring or whatever it's like bailey like you lost the match for us blah 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 you know um but then that could be her way of being like okay well look you guys didn't even come and stop this or try and like help me um and especially for it to be Kyrie because she wasn't on board with Kyrie joining so um i think that's that's a good way to go about starting what we believe is going to be the eventual end of Bailey in damage control. I think that would be a more interesting way because it wasn't just a, uh, it wasn't just a like cut and dry way for, for Bailey to lose. You know, it wasn't like, Oh, she, she was trying to do too much. And then she got too confident or like, yeah, Oh, no. everyone else was, you know, uh, gone. They were all like, uh, passed out or something. I'm trying to think of words that I can use. Um, and then Bailey was all by herself, and then she just like got outnumbered or whatever. Like, there's nothing that you can say it was completely Bailey's fault. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's like she has an argument already, you know. And I think that's a in more interesting way because I think people will be able to get behind her more. I will miss Bailey being a heel though because I love it when she's like, "You, you stupid idiot!" Like you it's idiot. so funny. <laughs> I'm like, can you please still use that when you're a good guy? Because like, it's iconic. 